and put our best yeah. foot forward, whether it's being the best parent or spouse or employee. But what happens when insecurity creeps in that we're maybe not doing as well as somebody else? Well, Lisa Mosher was Miss Ohio USA and Mrs. Ohio, also worked as a health and wellness educator. And in her book, Misconception, she explores the five steps to overcoming our own misconceptions. And uh, she joins us now to talk about the book and uh, what it's about. And thank you, first of all, Hi, so Lisa. much for coming in. For thank you. Drive to it's be nice with to us be this here. morning. Uh, misconception is obviously a play on words. It is. Uh, you know, I, I, why did you feel the, the, the need to uh, write this book? You know, that's a great question. Um, well, through my years of, you know, um, being in the pageant world, so to speak, and, and then as a health and wellness coach and now a coach with women with interviewing and all kinds of things, I find that the underlying issues are always the same type of things. So no matter if you're you know, 16, 17 years old, you're dealing with kind of the same things just on a different scale as women in their 30s, 40s that are trying to do it all and feel like they're drowning with kids and jobs. And then we have women in their 50s, 60s and above who feel like the best days of their lives are over. You know, what do I do now? You know, my kids are grown, empty nesters. And so <clears throat> as I'm working with them, I just thought, you know what, this is such something we need to address because everybody deals with these things and we tend to put um, a persona out that everything is great, mm -hmm. everything is great. Uh, Facebook, social media, all that That makes stuff. it worse, doesn't mm -hmm. it? it? Don't you think social media makes it worse? It's a lot different than when we were growing yes. up. Or, you know, when I was growing up, you didn't have that. You just had TV sure. and magazine. Now it's internet, you know, Instagram, Facebook. And so we're just being bombarded with this. And I think everybody's starting just to feel, I just want everybody to get real with each other and start a conversation. Do you think women put too much pressure on themselves? I mean, I know that men do too, but do yeah. you think it's a different level for women it's, sometimes? I think it's different for women because it's not like, we have, we're trying to do it all. We're trying to be good moms. And we're trying to raise great kids and we're trying to have good careers and jobs and we want to look nice, you know, and right. we have to make sure, you know, all that stuff. And we put so much pressure on ourselves. And a lot of times we just tend to hold that all in and, and it just manifests itself in other ways and feeling less than. And, and so I like to let people know that, you know, even people that we think that are have it all or whatever, no, we all deal with our stuff. Sure. That brings up a point. I, you would think someone like yourself who's been not only in pageants, but six, very successful then. Correct. Then, would be, would have in, in no crisis of confidence ever. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, are you kidding me? I was standing on the Miss USA stage looking like a confident young woman, and I was suffering from such low self-esteem, and wow. I had I had no, I felt like I didn't belong there. Yeah. And it was just because I had worked really hard on personal development to get myself there. And then once I got there and realized, you know, you get overwhelmed and you're not prepared and then you just go back in. And yeah. so it takes a lot of work on yourself. And so, that's the most important thing. So with one minute left, where do you start? You know, where, if I'm not feeling, if I'm having these feelings like you described, yeah. where does one start? What's the best thing to do? You know, I talk about a lot about it, the different types of things and it kind of depends on where, what you're dealing with mm -hmm. on the inside but I found that one of the most um, things that people deal with the most is confidence mm -hmm. walking into a room and feeling confident whether men or women sometimes you just walk in insecure and so I always tell people that I think the most beautiful trait that a woman can carry is confidence when you walk in confident and there's a lot you have to do with self-talk and getting yourself in that mindset mm -hmm. but to me that's the first step and just really kind of showing, you know what, hey world, I'm, I've got this, yeah. you know, and just being a confident woman. All right, uh, very good. Uh, Lisa, thank you so much for coming in. Oh, thank you so much for having me. And, uh, and uh, if somebody's interested in buying your book, what's the best way to get it? You can get it on my website at lisamosier.com or Amazon or wherever books right. are sold. It's called Misconception. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you too. We'll be back.